Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. I wanted to show you guys because I continually get a request for a natural fragrance. So let's do one. Here we go. Yes, it's a formula. Here we go. Haven't done it yet, but I've picked out my materials. So here are the materials that I'm going to use. I'm going to use, I'm going to try to make this a little bit simple. Um, so here we go. Lemon essential oil. This is cold pressed lemon essential oil. So the next one is lavender. I have specifically lavender from Italy that's organic and the next one is geranium rose essential oil the other name for that is geranium bur um, bourbon so if you see geranium bourbon geranium rose same thing the next one is, and that's from South Africa and the next one is Geranium Absolute. We're doing a natural, so I wanted to include, in my opinion, it's important to include an absolute because it's gonna give it more depth and just, it will be so simple. So the next one is Frankincense Essential Oil. This one's um, Cartii. Um, Boswellia Cartii essential oil. The next one is Galbanum at 1%. Galbanum oil. It's um, You can get Galbanum resin and a Galbanum oil. This is the oil. Then Virginia Cedarwood. I'll go into it in just a second. And then Cedrol. C-E-D-R-O-L crystals but it's in I obviously now it's in the liquid form so here here we go so first off I wanted they're kind of in order to me with how well now they are like from top note to heart and then a base so lemon and lavender and actually the geranium rose. Um, geranium rose can actually be top middle. It kind of can be sandwiched in between. But the lemon and lavender is your top note. Your geranium rose is top to middle. And then the geranium absolute is a middle note. And the galbanum is... It's a middle note, it lasts about 72 hours, so I'm considering it a middle note. Although, you, I didn't write down the molecular weight, so. Anyway, frankincense is going to be your fixative. So I wanted to pick a fixative as well, and that's a natural fixative. It will bring sweetness to the formula. So if that's something you're not wanting but I want the sweetness I'm fine with it and then Cedrol is a little bit dry a little bit sweet super super soft and it's to me a fixative as well last 400 hours it's a definite base in the Virginia Cedarwood is a Virginia Cedarwood that is not the extras from the industry from like the wood industry this is the real good first cut. Um, sometimes they use the outside and those shavings. This, my understanding, is the inside, like the, the real cedar wood and not the extra shavings, the byproduct that they're just going to get rid of that they could care less about. And then the perfume industry takes that and then distills it and it ends up being clear and not near as good. Um, this is dark. This is, to me, 
when I say it's the real stuff, I don't mean the other is fake, it's real as well. Um, but this is just the higher end, smoother, and it has a sweeter dry down. So, I actually did not write all these down yet, so I'm just going to leave them in order and write it down when I'm finished with the video. <clears throat> I didn't even grab one of these yet. Uh, here we go. So I use my clippies to hold this down. This is a 5 mil vial, and so I'm making this up as I go. I'm just, I am. So with the lemon essential oil, so I'm not going to make a big thing of it, but I still have a bigger container to put it in instead of a tiny little two mil vial. You could use that, no big deal. So, and I'm just going to do drops because we're going to just make this simple. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, twelve drops of lemon. And then the lavender. It's the lavender from um, Italy. Yeah, that's beautiful. One, two, three. I'm just going to do three. The reason I'm going to just do three is for me sometimes I find lavender can really take over, even though it's a top note. It can take over in the beginning and just take over the lemon. But that's kind of what I've found. So geranium rose, it is a, a watery consistency. It's a light, light green yellow. Light, light, light green yellow. Um, it just, you'll, there's a definite rose in there. And with the geranium, they use the leaves to distill. So they are not taking, you may already know this, but they're not taking the f geranium petals to distill they're using they use geranium the leaves to distill so that's how they do geranium mm, so this one I love one two three four five six seven eight nine nine kind of a lot for that but that's because I want it to be more of my heart <laughs> Geranium Absolute, this one's at 20%, so all I need is like one drop. You could dilute this easily down to a 10%, but I've been using it at 20 and it's not overtaking at all. All I need is just, you will find though, I'm going to tell you with this, is that you are going to have a little bit of sediment in there. Um, sediment, is that the right word? Mm, not like a sediment, like a sand sediment, but like a... It's not just super clear, so I, I, I bought it at 100% and diluted it down to a 20. Um, so it was almost a solid massy mass kind of a thing. So you can see how dark green this is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just do one, one drop of Geranium Absolute. At 20%, then galbanum, your galbanum oil should be at 1% when you use it. <clears throat> it is, it's, it's 72 hours on the test strip, so it lasts kind of a, a while. This one can be very, very persistent and strong. It's very <clears throat> green, pineapple. sharp but it's not I almost get a metallic I just I just do I need to write down one before I forget and I just just one start with one that's it just start with one trust me 
it's strong and persistent. But this is not like a green leaf. So Galbanum's a little bit different. It it can connect. If you have fruit, like a pineapple or something like that, that is how you can connect fruit, like a pineapple, to a base. That's how you make that little bridge. That can happen with this. This can also, to me, I, this has the same metallic that a geranium, that my geranium absolute has. There's a little bit of metallic in there and those are going to bridge together and just pull me down. So everything is just connecting to me. I kind of have a visual for that, but I'm not, hopefully you see what I'm kind of seeing, I'm picturing and speaking. <laughs> but anyway, frankincense. A good fixative is definitely a sweeten. It will sweeten one, two, two. And that's it. And that was plenty. And then the next one is um, Cedrol, C E D R O L. This is one. Um, easily can crystallize, turn into long crystals. I'm not sure if you can see them or not. It's actually kind of cool. Oh my gosh, I probably can't see it. Jeez, I don't know where to put it so you can see it really well. I'll put it, yeah, just, I don't know. There's crystals in there. It's kind of cool. Again, this is the base. I'm just going to do One, two, two drops of the Cedrol. And then Virginia Cedarwood. Oh gosh. So smooth. This is not like sharp, sour pencil shavings that. I've smelled before with Virginia Cedarwood and would never use it. And I found this. Where? Where did you find it? I found it. Thanks for asking. I found it at Eden Botanicals. I think I did a, I did a whole video on Virginia Cedarwood. Go watch it. If you want to know more, I'll go into, I go into depth with it. But <clears throat> rounding. This is a soft wood. It's really nice. So I'm going to do three. One, two, three. There we go. And that, that, I just, I, I chose those on purpose because I didn't want to choose just essential oils because I don't know, it, it needs some more complexity. It needs a fixative. It needs, I mean, so you can do that. You can find those and finding like um, individual molecules as well with like Cedrol, C-E-D-R-O-L. I talked about that in another video. That is where it's it's cedar wood and they freeze it and the crystals drop out. They take those crystals, they do an alcohol wash, and you end up with clean, fresh crystals, and they're Cedrol crystals. And then you take those crystals and you dilute it down and you make it into a liquid with perfumers, alcohol, whatever. Um, but using some different things like that and you picking like an absolute um, can be helpful instead of like just lemon, orange, and lavender, and there's your perfume. Um, yeah, I wanted a complete heart note and bass and top note as well. 
the thing I would say would be it smells really good. It has not it's not cohesive yet, which completely makes sense. I just made it. And for this type that I used with this absolute, with the frankincense, with the galbanum, the cedral, the cedarwood, it, it needs time to come together and become cohesive. So it it doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't, it's not all together yet in one harmonious blend so that is where you need to be patient do not dilute it don't dilute it keep it here come back in a week and smell I promise you even a month later it's going to smell a little bit different but give it a this I would give this two months give it two months and then dilute it. When you add perfumers alcohol to this, or if you are gonna make or like a roll-on perfume with coconut oil or whatever, fractionated coconut oil, when you add those, it stops and or really slows down that process of it becoming cohesive. So you want to give it time to be cohesive and then you can add your perfumer's alcohol. But the other cool thing about doing it like this, one, letting it mature. Number two, then you can choose, oh, I want it to be at 5%. Oh, I want it to be at 7%. Then you can, you know, weigh it out and do your math and there you go. But you need to give it time. Again, I'll, I'll tell you, the more base notes that you have, the longer it takes, the longer you want to give it to blend and become cohesive and mature, whatever word you would like to use. But that's something that you want to do. So that is making a full, full-bodied natural fragrance. And I hope you enjoyed that. Again, I um, did lemon essential oil that was um, cold-pressed, lavender essential oil, mine's organic from Italy. I used geranium rose. What is the other word for that? geranium bourbon very good very good geranium absolute at 20 percent galbanum oil at one percent frankincense cartier essential oil cedrol c-e-d-r-o-l and virginia cedarwood so i hope you enjoyed that and you can obviously take this formula and change it up and add a little bit more base or more top notes or whatever you want to do to make it more of your own and to where you like it even more. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.